Mouth pink cut. Right, my pretty. Hey guys, so it's Sunday and I need to study and do my homework for English and math because on Thursday I have a math test, my first uni math test, so that's gonna be really fun. Took my bio test, I got 75, but I mean, it happens to the best of us that we kind of flunk our first university test. It was a little different compared to high school tests, so I definitely need to get used to that but right now what's important is studying for math i don't think math is going to be too difficult but i do think i should probably prepare for it for next time i'm going to use my math notebook as you guys can see i've already been doing some math things so i just need to finish eight more little modules and then i'm going to do the practice quizzes again i did good on my practice quizzes the first one i got a 90 and the other one i got an 85 because i messed up the number stationery i'm going to be using my pink highlighter my red gel muji pen the clicking muji black pen it's so good wait out so at the moment i am currently studying for my first ever college algebra test i'm actually kind of excited for it because it's probably gonna be a lot more different compared to high school algebra or maybe high school calculus test which they have usually around 30 questions my teacher is only assigning to me 12 questions so it's making it a little bit more hard to study because if i mess up on two i can get an 80 if i mess up on one i get a 92. so i have to like really make sure that i know the content that i'm going to be tested on so honestly college algebra is really easy i feel like people actually over exaggerate college algebra and make it seem like it's something horrible like it's so hard to learn but honestly it's actually much easier compared to high school algebra maybe it's that or maybe it's because i've actually gotten good at math in the past couple years what i'm mostly struggling with the most in college algebra i think is factoring or when you have an exponent outside of the parentheses and you need to multiply it into a fraction with other exponents i feel like i'm kind of getting that confused to when you have to do that but it's like it's different i'll put an example on the screen but i have a little bit of trouble in that but other than that the rest of has come across easier than i have expected i actually do think i'm gonna pass this class with really good grades because in general i'm actually really good at math as long as i do the repetitive learning method i should be good honestly the repetitive learning method has always worked the best for me especially in math because it allows me to do the problem over and over again to the point where i can recognize it in a test and know exactly what to do same with the learning the rules and everything i feel like that's really important if you're going to be doing college algebra i feel like that's something you should really put effort into which is just learning the patterns that each question has Okay, so I already finished all my math homework and got my I thought my fan was not on. Some other stuff I have to do, so now I need to check what else I need to do. I need to check if I need to do anything else. I probably need to rewrite my biology notes because I did not take any biology notes in class today. I'm definitely gonna do that. I'm checking right now on my canvas. I don't know why, but I feel like I have to do a lot even though I don't need to. English, I need to work on my English. And I need to do some stuff through Wednesday, but I think I can probably leave that till later. I actually just really need to rewrite my notes. So I'm going to probably do that right now. And then I need to work on my religions of the world. I have a project to do this weekend. I need to finish writing it all down. I use ChatGPT, by the way, just as a warning, just for you guys to know. I use ChatGPT to give me information on the topic. And then I write more into it. As like it helps me remind me what I should write about. I am already knowledge in the field that I'm making a project on. I just sometimes need ChatGPT to help me kind of recap and like make me remember oh yeah i need to do so i love my laptop like i literally use this all the time i need to clean my desk though and i'm actually thinking of getting a vanity to put up here so probably gonna have another 
desk makeover pretty soon. I only went up to slide 15. So, most of this is not hard though. I really do remember most of this from high school, from freshman year, which was like five years ago, which is insane to think about. Honestly, biology for college is actually really nice. I prefer it way more than high school biology because I feel like high school biology is like the pre-gaming of college biology. I love biology in general. It's always been one of my favorite science subjects. I did all right on the first test. I got a 72, but I mean, you know, most students do all right on their first test in college. Is. that's how i ended up doing it just took me about like 30 minutes which is like really annoying but at least i know what i'm talking about though so i took a quick break and i'm gonna hop on to religion take a quick water break i've been literally addicted to gum it's, it's a problem oh it's so cool Currently taking Religions of the World, which is just an elective that I had to take for this semester. It's actually kind of a fun class, but honestly, it's such an easy pass. I was working on my project, which is that we need to compare Hinduism and Christianity, like religious wise. Here I was studying for my math test and I was also doing my math weekly homework. Honestly, love math. It's so much fun, but I just don't feel like talking about math right now. I just want to say real quick, Conan Gray in the VMAs was absolutely stunning. And also, Somber's performance was insane. Oh, like, Conan Gray's vocal range is so beautiful like i'm literally going to die and his sailor dress is adorable like i kind of wish i had it because it would look really cute like i mean it's such a cute dress like who would hate that dress it's so so cute but yeah i just can't stop thinking about like the chemical reset that went in my brain when i watched the vmas like it was an insane and honestly like i'm a whole new person after watching the vmas and you guys are probably thinking oh my god when is she gonna shut up about the vmas okay fine i'll shut up about the vmas and i'll move on to a different topic honestly let's just talk about school i just want to know how you guys school is going because i have some european viewers whose school just started and i have the american viewers which their school started a couple weeks before me and honestly how is it because like I'm happy I'm not doing high school anymore, thank god, but I know some of you guys are still doing high school. I would like to know what type of content that could maybe help you in high school would you like me to make? I can make get ready with me, some makeup routines, also I can do how to glove for school, stationery. Honestly, like I love doing that type of content because I feel like I wish that I had someone to look up to that did that sort of content when I was in high school because I feel like I would have not flopped so hard in high school if I had someone that could guide me I guess on the internet but other than that yeah I love honestly look I love making study vlogs like this these are so fun to make because I can like literally talk so much it's like my diary but I just talk and talk and you guys can just listen because I don't know I, I just love I love the ideas of vlogs I love digital diarying because it's so cute like just like when I get to look back I'm gonna be like wow I was so weird or something like that finished all my homework and my studying and that's basically it so yeah I'm done for today and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.